Hello everyone, welcome back. We're going to do two or three woven roses now. These are relatively straightforward. I've got my red thread again for my roses. And this time we're going to lay five spokes. So to do that, we're going to first of all do a fly stitch. So if you're right-handed, come up to the left and go down to the right, anywhere along the circle. You can see here, I've drawn a sort of bunch of roses with a few a couple of stalks and a circle for a guideline and then come up in the center of your circle so in the center and through the loop this is a fly stitch which we did earlier I think you can probably see those there and then we're going to take the thread down to the other side of the circle to make a Y shape and now come up between those two threads and weave with the eye of your needle through the top two prongs of the Y and take your thread down into the other side of the circle. So that's an easy way to make five prongs. Now come up between any of the spokes as close to the center as you can and we're going to change to a tapestry needle. So now we're going to go under and over and under and over and under and over under and over under and over all the way around and that's going to fill up the shape I'm using both hands here so that hopefully you can see a bit better. Now if you if you're using stranded cotton, I would use all six strands for your weaving as it packs it in nicely. The reason that you've got um, an odd number of spokes is that the one you went under on your first round, you'll go over on the next round. So it's got to be an odd number and it's usually five. Don't lose track of where you where you are, otherwise it won't look right. You could regard it as you're going under every other one. That's an easy way of, of looking at it. And you want to pack them in. Gets to the point where you can't actually see the spoke, so be careful then that you're getting the right spoke. And this is a really, really easy way of making a little rose. I'll show you in a minute um, my flower basket again because there were some wo woven roses on that. Just keep going. The more you can pack in, the more raised it will look from the surface. I think I'm nearly done. When you think you're there, just 
take your thread under the rows and put it through to the back. Those are my three roses now completed. I just wanted to show you my little flower basket where I used the woven roses um, just here on the left. Now I'm going to add a stem to my roses and I'm also going to add a little fly stitch. So I'll show you the fly stitch. My stem is going to be in split back stitch. So just to finish off my rose, it's quite nice to put a little fly stitch at the base of the rose here at the top of the stem. Come up to the left and go down on the right or the opposite if you are left-handed. And then come up at the top of the stem below the rose and take your stitch right down into the stem to anchor your fly stitch. So you just get a little stitch there which makes it look more natural. So up and down. And do the same with the final one. I'm working this at a very dodgy angle so I don't have to move it for you. So. And we're done. Bunch of roses. What's going to be next? Well, I think we're going to do something completely different and move on to battlement couching. <laughs> 